Um, all right, so let's go to the mail. This it starts off hot here because this was a funny exchange. Because people, people, there's still people that just don't get me. Okay, so well, let me read this from IB exclusive. The subject is Disco humiliates another one. Dear K100, Disco needs to be praised for his complete humiliation of cornball safe SJW podcaster and Emmy Award winner John Alba on Twitter Sunday. Oh, wait a minute, who? Is John who? Alba. I'll explain who this guy is, okay? For those that don't know, Dax from FTR asked a question yeah, like for his me. podcast, <laughs> specifically requesting non-wrestling questions. Albia, being the clueless bubble mark he is, responded with a question about talking to announcers before matches. Glenn's response to Alba was classic, and Alba's response was lame and unimpressive. My question is, will all these nerds ever go away, or are we cursed with this style of unprofessional podcast or fan journalist running, ruining wrestling forever? Um, I'm going to pull the tweet. Joe, pull the tweet. I have it. It's, it's, up, on okay, the, it's okay. up on the screen, yeah. Even though I get ripped for the Chadster name given to me by Shane Douglas, I consider it a badge of honor. Oh, after the humiliation Al- this is the Chadster. <laughs> <but. laughs> the humiliation Alba suffered publicly by the Superior. Much respect, Chad. Now, I want to explain something to everybody here that people just do not get. Okay? I How do, how do you explain this? All right. Well, first of all, Bro, let me, I, can I let, say let, this let, real quick? Go ahead. First of all, even though I'd rather bury you and you know that, I'll put you over here because you are right. This is not a wrestling related question. Well, I, okay, I mean, we'll, we'll get, well, let, me, let me get to it because I want to explain my first This thing. is we'll a wrestling this, related question. Because this is funny, okay? Is that this is what people do not get. Okay, I'm on Twitter and I think everybody should get me by now. I come from a culture of professional wrestling where, bro, we were in a locker room of the most epic Hall of Fame ball busters that you ever want. Was, okay, okay, bro. And I'm looking at these people, and you got Dax, John Alba, some of these people, you know. So, and like, I'm like thinking, like, what would these people would have been like in our locker room? Where, bro, it was every they single have la- show. Bro. Lex Luger, Marcus Bagwell, Scott Hall, <laughs> Kevin Nash, Hulk Hogan was a ball buster. Henning. Key, Henning, the Nasty Boys, Kidman. Oh, my God. Jericho, Malenko. Raven. Just bro, Raven. It was Raven. Bro, we were all constantly ribbon on the square 24 7 like if 20, you were riding in the same right. car from town to town it did it, not stop it, it was it was non-stop okay so i just tweeted like so this john all so, so the exchange was here was here was a quote so dax tweeted at asked non-wrestling questions right the, do you have the john alba question you've read yeah, that he, re- I can't read he responded uh how much communication do you have with announcers before a match you work and in your opinion what makes a great wrestling commentator Okay, <laughs> that's a wrestling bro, question. The, 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 bro, bro, I've read that and I just giggled. Right. Okay, and I and I went through the thread of that, and like a lot of the people were asking wrestling questions, but it was specifically for non wrestling questions. So I tweeted. I thought it was funny because everybody's asking wrestling questions. It's like you know, of what what if you lend a professional wrestler money, which would probably lead the like who wouldn't pay you back, <laughs> right? Okay, I that just broke this, this to me was just funny stuff. Then I retweet Alba's thing, and I said, well, you spend too much time in the wrestling bubble. You have no concept of what is not wrestling, okay? And I'm just – bro, I don't know who this guy is. I know it is Eric. He does a podcast with Eric, right? Yeah, Strictly Business. All right, so, and I've listened to some of the clips. guy's pretty good, okay? So I just tweeted that. I'm just – but I'm, you know me, right? What do I do? Just poke the bit. Nothing really serious. This is completely innocent. Right. This is just joking. But you're dealing with snowflakes, dude. Okay. Read the guy's responses. Read the responses. Let me, okay, let okay. me just say real quick. And so – when I was in the military for seven years, it was the same thing, ball busting. Okay. Right. I have a friend that was a cop and I went in, in into their, to, to their, where they all hang out and play cards and, and hang out. Same bro, you know, but nerds, <laughs> they don't do that. It's like, I'm that's just, who you're I'm dealing like, with. Why is everybody getting so butthurt over this? Is the, I'm, I'm still laughing at this, that, that, right. they, that people take this so seriously. So read what he says. So, uh, D.I., of course, you responded, when you spend too much time in the wrestling bubble, you have no concept of what is not wrestling. And this guy, let me explain something. Bro, yeah. this guy, John Alba, gave up a bunch of uh, like sports commentator jobs to, to work in wrestling. Yeah, yeah he says that's here. That's kind of funny. I think, like, you know, why would you do that? Well, so, let know? me say one more thing, uh, d- Disco, because you yeah. watch that show with Charles Barkley and Shaq, right? Yeah, right, absolutely. What right. do they do the whole show? Bust each other's balls. Crush right. each other, yeah. Bust I mean, you've seen balls. Larry Bird and back in and, the day. You know, yeah. And this is not even like a made. I, I don't. I mean, maybe I'm out of line here. I didn't think this was a major insult. I'm just. La- I'm just making a thing about how it's funny that the guy's asking for non wrestling questions how this and people guy, are uh, asking wrestling questions. Joe, so I'm like, so let me double down. Go ahead. I'd say, um, I'd say John's probably thirty. 
Um, right, the, bro. Yeah. That's a snowflake, you know, generation. Well, this is well. Your boy's kind of a snowflake response too. So let's just, just continue with this. All right, my boy. Okay, oh, yeah. so uh, John responds. Hi, Glenn. I'm an Emmy Award winning sportscaster who was in television news for seven years, Come covering on. the <laughs> NFL, MLB, NBA, NHL, NASCAR, PGA, MLS, and college football and basketball. If there's one person who was not in the bubble, it's me. Literally me. Okay, and what I say. Uh, you said, he said, po- post a non-wrestling question as an Emmy award winner. Can you explain how your question about wrestling announcers was non-wrestling? Right. Spot on. Bingo. Boom. Okay. So then what does he say? Uh, it was a question about broadcasting, Glenn. <laughs> yeah. In <laughs> so, so this goes on. So, so could, could, could you go to Dak's Twitter, Joe? Pull up Dak's Twitter because Dak responds to this. Okay. Uh, right. now Dak's response. Glenn, I know it's your gimmick to be a Kmart cornet and raise the ire of Twitter, but you're trying a little too hard in this instance. I mean, your question literally had your question literally had the word wrestler in it. <laughs> Just please take this L for today. Come back tomorrow and try again. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll take the L because I was contributing <laughs> an L. I voluntarily because I was tweeting to just like so I'm taking the L because I put wrestling in the yes I did because it was funny because everybody was asking wrestling questions like so, so, so then I respond so then this so then this like so what's the read my response to, to Dax do you uh, have it yep one sec um dude all of you guys take this stuff too seriously you can't even joke around on Twitter anymore without a good per- portion of people getting butt hurt if you can't see any humor in the silliness then you need to lighten up. And these guys, and that, and now ultimately that's it. And then, then I just tweeted, I said, "Look, I bust balls on Twitter. People that take themselves way too seriously get butt hurt. Their followers get to post quote jobber quote irrelevant and get their jollies. And me and Conan get to laugh about it on the podcast. Everyone goes ha- goes so happy, rinse repeat. Right. Right. <laughs> Bro, awesome. just can't people be you just laugh at this, this stuff? One. Yeah, there's a little I mean, bit more if you want to hear it to sum it up. To, to get well, to one the of these guys, they, they kept tweeting because I didn't said I I, yeah. I, I, I I quit. <laughs> You know, so, so. Well, John yeah. said, uh, Glenn, I've never inter- interacted with you. I, as a broadcaster, oh, yeah, right. okay. asked for his perspective on an element of broadcasting in this field. You took that to try to insinuate I was in a bubble, completely unaware of my background or what I do for no reason. You weren't <laughs> joking. And then he goes, I, I truthfully don't really I know ca- if he's joking or not. I, I am joking, bro. I know. That's clothes. what I'm, I'm not saying. Insulting how like how, you're, you're right, how does he know if you're joking or not? Right. Well, these key, like I said, these these people that you can't right. touch because they assume that if you don't put me over, thus you must hate me. They've no humor. Thus bro. you're not hating. You, thus you're not joking, and in, thus in, I'm a snowflake. Yeah. In okay. this diversity inclusion atmosphere of happy family wrestling, and everything you right. literally can't be funny. Right. Or else some people are not are going to get upset about it. So you want you've got a community of people that are that want to be humorless. You know, like the uh, I don't know. So what, what did I say? So I think I I said I'm sorry, dude. I was just trying to be funny. Like the what what I say, Joe? Yeah. He, well, he also said uh, I truthfully don't really care. It was a weird thing to try and dunk on. I've seen you try and dunk on friends and colleagues of mine, and I let it be because honestly, I enjoyed you growing up, and I just kept to myself. Not sure why I had to bring unnecessary negativity and disco replies. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it was funny. I have no issues with you. John, yeah. I don't know you, but I will say this: if you're working with Eric, you must be cool. Take the yeah. stick out of your lighten up it's a f- joke right <laughs> yeah i i, I, I dealt with john a little because we actually uh, have a clip that went up on youtube this week code about what we talked about last week about how the the the, the army of orcs like like descend right. on me and right. everything and then yeah. i'm literally just busty balls and joking around but not in personally attacking i just think it's funny mm-hmm. do what dax posts re- do a non-wrestling question this guy posts the whole thing about re- wrestling commentary like i just i probably I laughed you know? so, yeah and let me right? for the record i'd rather bury disco than put him over but right. he's absolutely correct on this one right all right so let's i go think next. you guys would, would like john though uh, I dealt I, with bro, a yeah, he might be a, no, bro a lot. Yeah. No issue. Yeah, he's with very, guy. Prof- I just thought he's bro. I have friends, yeah. bro. I have friends that are like that. That mm-hmm. they're super cool, but they're mega sensitive. You can't yeah. say right. If you're not putting them over, they get butt hurt, bro. And that's yeah. a generational thing. It is. It is. It absolutely is. He's he's one of the good ones. All right. I mean, good. people yeah. Think, yeah. look at yeah. me. I, I literally tried to like. We got nothing against. Joke with this disco. Yeah, yeah. He was just making a joke. And mm-hmm. people look at me like I'm some evil person. So right. I'm like, dude, yeah, because you already have like and... a reputation. <laughs> right. So anything that you add to it, they're right. never going to see anything you do, bro. They're never going to see any right in it. You know right. what I'm saying? And, you and can just... do. You can do no right, and you could, and everything you do is always oh, going to be wrong. Yep. And I just want to make a point. I'm not changing. Right. All right. So if you feel yeah. like this, I will continue to bust.
calls and try to trigger somebody to do some funny stuff and everything. Bro, look at the way me and Matt Hardy and me and, and me and Cyrus exchange on Twitter. Right. Or Jericho. You know, the, the, or Jericho. Yeah. It's right. like, come on. It's like, give me a break. Yeah. 